So today we have a 630A and we're replacing a water heater valve. So yeah, there's three pipes connected to it and a um, electrical connector. So yeah. I've decided to remove the whole air box just to get me a little bit more space to get to it. So yeah, there's one clamp here, one connector there, and then two screws right here, and it should just pull up. As you can see, this gave us a lot more space to get to it. I'm also going to remove those two screws just to get this out of the way. like that so now we have much more space what I'm gonna do is I will use my I'll use my clamps to just clamp it maybe I shouldn't do that but I don't want to lose too much coolant so yeah this just basically go around and just slightly clamp it, you don't need to go crazy and there is three pipes that connects to this there is one on this side and two more on the other side the other side is kind of hard to see and there, right there and there is one underneath so just, I'm just gonna clamp them, uh, them as well uh, remove those three clips and then you should just pop out as you can see it's all done now basically those clips were kind of a headache to, to take out I had to use this 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 tool which has this at the end it's a special tool for this kind of clips so yeah you can either use this or this I use both so yeah I'm just going to release the clamps now check if you didn't damage the pipes which you shouldn't move all of them and yeah check for leaks there's one more uh, plug connect and yeah job done just have to put this power steering bottle back air box and I'm done so yeah that's how you change your heater valve and just in case you don't have the clamps and you lose some coolant you just have to top it up in the coolant bottle so yeah
make sure your airbox slides in those two grooves there's two grooves i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see there's two grooves make sure it slides nicely in there So yeah, as you can see, everything is done, box is in, everything is tight, don't forget the sensor. So yeah, now all I'm going to do is start the car, check for leaks, check the coolant, if it's if the level is okay, if not, then top it up. And yeah, job done. So that was a 6 series, 630i. So yeah, three liter petrol. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.